Today, dear friends, I would like to say a few words about the church. Not the church as a building, but the church taken as the community of believers in Christ. As you can see in the second reading, um, and that reading I would like to take as my point of departure, especially the picture of the body of Christ is predominant, the church body of Christ. It is a beautiful picture actually, but very seldom reflected on, I feel. Now what does that picture say to us of the body? First of all, it says something that is making clear what is the church, what is not the church. The church is not a collection of individuals who have the same interests and ideas, maybe collecting stamps or IT hobby, hobbyists or something like people who believe in the same religious founder like the Muslims believe in Muhammad and follow him and the Buddhists in Buddha whom they follow. No, the church as we see it is much more the relationship between the founder, if I may call him like that, and us, the church, is much and much deeper in the sense that he is the head and we are the members of the same body. Or, using another picture which is used by St. John, we are the vine, we are the branches and we are grafted on his vine. We live in him and he lives in us. That comes out so clearly when St. Paul speaks about the same spirit that binds us together. And it comes also out so clearly when we come forwards and receive Holy Communion. We receive Jesus Christ not only, or we relate to Jesus Christ not only as our teacher or as our Lord, but we take him as the food, the spiritual food of our being. If you do not eat me nor drink me, you cannot have life in you. But if you do, you have life, the life of Christ in you. We in Christ and Christ in us. Now dear friends, from this thought, another thought immediately follows. That is, you cannot be hanging loose. You cannot be indifferent. You cannot say, well, <laughs> I do my Sunday duty and I go home and end of the story. I have not much relationship with the other Catholics. No. You are united, bonded with us in an infinitely deeper way even than you are bonded with your children and with your wife or husband. Because you are bonded with us in the body of Christ. And your whole being as part of this body should feel concern for this body. And an active will to promote it 
Otherwise, what is that? Then you are a dead body or a dead cell. A dead cell in the body. You don't do anything to promote it, to further it, to actively support it with your maybe limited resources. I remember that <laughs> I was, this was long ago, it was long ago, uh, there was a lady who told, not me, uh, usually they, this kind of things they tell always to all people, then preach, that our church is a church deserves without love. And for that reason she had left the Catholic Church and she said I, I have from a Protestant or whatever. I can't remember even that anymore. <clears throat> well, if I had been an opportunity to have a word with her, I would have asked her, so, what about you? What about you? Were you all the time only sitting there? Then you never go out yourself to not to wait for community, but to make community. The community you are so-called so keen on. Where did we see that in you? To smile, maybe, this may, maybe a little contribution. You know, to say hello, to be good for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Instead of grumpy. What about you? You are a member of the body of Christ, whether you like it or not. It doesn't uh, rely on whether you like it. It relies on whether how Christ sees it and has created you as a Christian, as a member of this body. <coughs>